So High Level is really picking up their game. They now have an AI studio where you can build agents very similar to N8N, for example, or using automations like Make or Zapier. And I made an attempt to build a platform called agentrage.com and you can build similar agents but where high level really wins in a lot of these competitions is they have all of the other aspects of a crm built in so yes you can build an agent that can do scraping on the internet for example to get information well those in that information now needs to be plugged into a crm so you can contact customers right that leg is not available in those other tools but because high level is now providing agent studio themselves this is a game changer. Let's dive in and take a look at all of the different nodes that they have and see what it can really do. And then I'll also tell you how you can leverage this to make more money. Let's go. So first, how do we access it? We go into our sub account, go over to AI agents over here on the left, click on agent studio. It'll say, welcome to agent builder experience. Go ahead and say, create agent. You can give it a name and a description. You don't have to, if you just want to take a look at it, hit create agent. That'll bring you into the studio itself. Now these are pretty straightforward. Basically you click on one of these, if you're familiar with N8N, and then you can like connect them. So that means, hey, this is our start. And then the next thing you're gonna do is a sequential node. You can click on the little connector, go ahead and delete, and it'll disconnect it. And then this is sitting by itself. And so basically you connect all of these nodes in order to do something, right? And there's not a whole lot right now, but I imagine they're gonna build on this very soon. And then you click a node, let's say right here, you can delete it. It'll go away. And now let's talk about all of these one by one. AI agent, the first one. Give it a prompt, meaning that you're telling the brain on what to do. This is very similar to what you would type into ChatGPT, for example. You can drag up and down right here, give you more room to work your thoughts. And then you can pick the model itself. Maybe you have a preference. Right now they have a limited amount. Looks like only ChatGPTs from 4.0 mini all the way up to five. And then you can add some variables if you wanted to remember certain things to say, hey, when I ask the user to enter their name, I want you to save it in this placeholder. That placeholder is what's called a variable. So this one is the brain. I would use this to leverage all of the other agents whenever there's some kind of processing or interpretation. This is what you're going to use. Next up is a sequential node. Click on that. And the sequential node, just like it sounds, is done in order so if you have first you want it to go scrape the internet to go get information then you want to put this information in an organized list in alphabetical order well that first part would be a sequential node that second part would be a sequential node and you'd probably number them one and two and then bringing up the rare is the end node just like it sounds when you're done your last step, maybe it's like after the user already checked this out and there's a thank you page. That's the last step in this flow. And that's what you would use the end node for. Next up, search the web, just like it sounds. Give it some instructions on what to do and then the query on what to find. This would be great if you wanted, for example, for realtors, search all of the listings that are getting ready to expire and you want to speak to those owners and give them a decision point to say, hey, come join me because your previous realtor couldn't sell your house. And after six months, it's getting ready to expire. I can probably find you a deal or maybe buy it from you using creative financing. And so for that, you need to jump online, go through Zillow or Redfin and manually search for these things, or maybe use an API if you're good with tools. Now in high level, you can do that just by using this agent, scrape all of that information, put it into your CRM, and then text blast all these people or email them with your offer. Next up, search knowledge base. So for those that are familiar, AI agents are good, but they have to be able to look at a certain knowledge base to have some contextual data about your business. So maybe you have all of the information on your website and you want your AI agent to be smart on that. What services do you offer? What tools you're selling? What your operating hours are? An AI agent can't just make that information up. It wouldn't be accurate. So what you do is you put that all together by having the agent crawl your website and then put that information into a knowledge base. And then you can select which knowledge base you want the agent to reference when they're answering questions. It can also do modal context protocol or MCP server. 
This is a standard way of AI agents communicating online in order to tap into different resources. So if there was a resource already online, let's say a list of all of the movies possible. So you have titles, producers, actors, and you want your AI agent to be able to go tap into that information. Well, there has to be some kind of standard method for them to communicate with each other. Think of it as a language. And so now high level offers this ability for you to communicate with other external systems in order to get access to that information. And then you have API calls. APIs are how software can communicate with other software. So that example I said about you scraping the Google listings to get information on businesses, that would be an API call for this AI agent to then use Google's API and get information off of Google Maps, let's say, of all of the businesses that don't have a website. So you would say, give me all of the businesses in a particular area that don't have a value for their website filled in, meaning they don't have a website. And then it could respond with that entire list. And then that list turns into your leads in order to contact them if you want to sell them a website. Under that, you have generative AI, meaning it's going to generate something. What is it going to generate? Either audio, images, pictures, right? Text, maybe it's writing copyright information for your advertisement or video. It does have the VEO3 model in here, which makes the high quality videos in eight second segments. So anything you want to create or generate, as it says, is right here. And then the last four are capture information. So think of these as inputs that users would provide, maybe an email address, a phone number. Uh, you have some kind of a survey that you're building answer one to five if you liked our service or text input maybe they're just entering their addresses or shirt sizes because you're going to sell them t-shirts well these are all the capture information pieces so how does high level compare to some of these other competitors out there i have this one in the leftmost column here agent studio for high level and then we're comparing it with all the other ones that's why high level is yes across the board and then we're going to compare against nadan for example so the no code ai builder NADN has this exact same thing. Although NADN has a lot more features, I would say, a lot more nodes, options, because there are other platforms out there that build integration specifically with NADN. Right now, High Level is brand new, so I don't see too many connecting in some kind of an HTTPS node, for example, with High Level. But I think given some time, they'll probably catch up. Zapier just doesn't have that. And then 11 Lab, same thing. API integration, you kind of have to have this because you're integrating with all of these other tools so you can leverage other platforms' APIs. So all three have this. 11 Labs, it's primarily based on voice, so it's probably not fair for it to be in this comparison. They're amazing for voice things, but they're not an AI agent studio by any means. And speaking of native voice gen, Go High Level actually uses 11 Labs, so it's a little unfair, but yes, they do have it integrated in it. And it then just doesn't do it, Zapier doesn't do it, and 11 Labs being the best in the world, obviously has it. Real-time web searches, really important for getting up-to-date information. High Level can do it, NADN can, Zapier cannot. Mainly because Zapier is making a call when you prompt it. So you would have to be making a prompt every single second to get the latest information, which is cost prohibitive. Same with 11 Labs, they can't do the real-time stuff. High Level can do custom prompting, NADN can partially because within the AI agents, it can use prompts but every node is not going to be able to get a prompt necessarily. Only the AI agent within NADN can. Zapier is a no, 11 Labs, yes. And then the pricing. Agent Studio is only available with the 297 plan in high level for unlimited paper use. NADN, there is a free version that you can use today and start building your own agent and workflow within NADN. And then they charge $24 a month after that. Zapier is $20 a month. It does scale rapidly if you turn into an enterprise and you have hundreds of different calls you're trying to make regularly but they can get a little bit pricey because they charge you per zap as they call it every connection that they're trying to make for you is going to cost and then 11 labs they're best in class for voice so it kind of depends on how much you're using but based on that it could be from five dollars all the way up to three hundred dollars 
per month. So if you're using high level already and you're on the 297 plan, I would say jump into the AI agent studio, build some agents if you want, or follow me. I'm gonna build some specific ones here in the next few days. And then if you're my affiliate member, meaning you're using my affiliate link to access high level, I'll give you those agents as well to try out for your own businesses for free. So stay tuned. If you want to try your hand at doing this yourself instead of just watching, you can use my high level affiliate link in the description below. If you use that, you get an extended 30 day high level trial, hundreds of pre-built AI agents, access to my school community, 40 plus business and marketing courses that I've built. You'll have all of my website template that you've seen me create. I'll even hop on a live Zoom call with you twice a week to help guide you and build your business with you. You'll have a direct line to me and also a chance to join my agency and run some of these businesses that I have as well as take on my client. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.